Yeah, I'm doing this uh, YouTube video um, on the Bible verse that a lot of people get misunderstood. <clears throat> and uh, I had the, uh, the Ruach HaKadosh revealed to me to do this Bible study and tell you, but I forgot about it. And it wasn't until today that the Father reminded me I need to do the study and let you all know about what's going on. Okay? This is a, a Bible verse that people get misunderstood a lot. And uh, I think it's the reason why you have people that are on welfare and food stamps and you have people giving money to homeless people and uh, soup kitchens and all that. You have all that stuff going on because of this verse here. Let me explain this verse. It's Matthew 25, 35 through 40. Matthew 25, 35 through 40. All right? And you're going to know it when I start reading it. For I was and hungered, and you gave me meat. And I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and ye came un unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee a hungered, and fed thee? or thirsty, and gave thee drink. When saw thee a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick, or in prison, and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as you have done it to the one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. <coughs> well, this is going to be a revelation for you. It's not talking about, this is, has nothing to do about food or water or the things of the natural world. These are all spiritual things he's referring to in this passage. These are spiritual things that you're not, it ain't talking about physical, giving somebody some water, or giving somebody some food, or giving somebody a, a, a clothes or a sweater. All those are okay things to do. But this verse has nothing to do with that. Let me explain why. Okay? <clears throat> Let's take the first part of the verse. For I was a hunger, and you gave me meat. <clears throat> well, John 6, 35. John 6, 35. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. See? Yeshua was the bread of life. See? For I was a hunger, and you gave me meat. He's the bread of life. Or the Hebrew and the Hebrews uh, 5 13 4. Hebrews 5 13 4. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful, is unskillful in the world. In the word in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But the strong meat belonging to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. See? The meat is the word of God, Elohim's word that you learned and you grew up on. That's the meat you're getting into. Okay? The bread is he's the bread of life. That's for when I was hunger and you gave me meat. You gave him his word, the substance of his word you gave him. Okay, that's what that's talking about. It has nothing to do with food. I was thirsty and he gave me drink. Yeshua is the living water. John 4, 14. John 4, 14. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give... Him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up unto everlasting life. That's the water he's referring to, okay? In verse, uh, where you see it in the verse, let me go up here. Matthew 25, 35 through 40, where it says, uh, I was a thirst and you gave me drink. That's what he's talking about. I was a stranger and you took me in. 
unsaved versus saved. Okay? <clears throat> Exodus 2, 22. And she bore him a son, and he called his name Gashemara, for he said, I have been a stranger in a strange land. John fifteen nineteen. John fifteen nineteen. If ye were of the world, the world would love its own. But ye, because ye are not of the world, I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. See, you're a stranger. You're not of this world. You're of the, a different world. You're not of this world. You're a stranger in a strange land. Okay? I was a stranger and you took me in. Brought him in from being unsaved out into a saved, his, his, his world. You see what I'm saying? The unsaved and the saved. Lost, unlost. Naked and ye clothed me. Isaiah 6, 64, 6. Isaiah 64, 6. But we are all an unclean thing, and all our righteousness is of filthy rags. And we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquity, like the wind, have taken us away. Revelation 19, 8. Revelation 19, 8. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. That's that naked and you clothe me. That's righteousness. It has nothing to do with clothes. It's your righteousness. I was sick and you visited me. I was sick and you visited me. Matthew 9, 12. Matthew 9, 12. But when Jesus heard it, heard that, he said unto them, They that be whole need not a physician, but the sick. But they are the sick. Matthew 9, 12. But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, That, that they that, that be Whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. He's talking about spiritually. Spiritually sick. Spiritually, your spirit is broken. You're, you need spiritual help. That's what it's talking about. It's not talking about going to a hospital. <clears throat> I, I was in prison. Isaiah 61.1 Isaiah 61.1 for the spirit of the living God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted and to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prisons to them that be bound. Those are bound with addictions. Prison, you're bound, you're bound by your addictions. Alcoholism, drug abuse, whatever it is, that you're in prison. You're prison. You're a slave to your prison. You're, you need to be bound. You need to be set free. So that verse in Matthew, Matthew 25, 35 through 40, is all spiritual. It has nothing to do with the natural world. Okay? It has nothing to do with the natural world. I just want to make this video so you can understand that Matthew 25, 35 through 40 is not giving somebody some water or giving them a coat or giving them a, a sandwich or something like that. It's not has nothing to do with that. Okay? It has nothing to do with that. These are all spiritual things that a follower of Yeshua should do. Okay? And I got another video I'm going to do that's going to blow your mind away too even more. All right? But I just want to put this together real quick. And uh, it's getting late. I'm going to eat me something. But anyway... I'm going to go ahead and put this video up and I can post the scripture verses in the description box so you can see where I was getting all this stuff from and you can go back and read it for yourself. Alright, well, again, Matthew 25, 35 through 40 has nothing to do about food and water. It's all or nothing in the natural world. It's all spiritual.